question seven, we're given this box, which stands for a number, equals 4,500 add 600. Now, if you look, we normally have it the other way around. We normally see this question that there's 4,500 plus 600 equals the box. It makes no difference whether you write it this way or this way. We can do column addition with this, carefully lining up each digit. So let's start 4,500 add 600. Now we have to be careful we put these in the right columns. That's in the hundreds column, so we have to put in the hundreds column. 600. Now this here is the ones column or the units column. This is the tens column. This is the hundreds column. And finally, this one here is the thousands column. So let's start. Zero add zero is zero. Zero add zero is zero. Now we move on to the hundreds column. Five add six is 11. Now we can't put two digits in one column. We can't do this. So let's rub this off. Five add six is 11. So we put the one here and carry the one from the tens column over. Now we have four add, there's nothing here. So it's four add nothing, which is four. Add the one we've carried over, which makes it five. And this is our answer. As before, one, two, three, comma. This here, you look upon as your thousands. So this is in your head. So it'll be five, thousand one hundred question eight is eight times thirty three or eight multiplied by thirty three now what i'm going to do is do it here as column multiplication i'll put the big number at the top and eight here so this is my calculation what I do is I take the 8 and multiply it by every digit above. So I'll do 8 times 3. So if I do 8, 16, 24. So it's good to know your times tables. 8, 16, 24. So there's 1, 2, 3. So 8 times 3 is 24. I put the 4 in this column and carry the 2 over to the next column. Now I do 8 times 3 again, which is 24, plus the 2 we've carried over. So that makes it 26. So I put the 6 down, and I carry the 2 over to the next column. Because we have nothing to do, we can write it straight down. So our answer is 264. Now what I want to do is do this calculation using the grid method. So let's write that down. I'm going to write the 8 here. And I'm going to split the 33 up into 30 and 3. So I'm going to partition it. 30 and 3. So I'm going to do 8 times 30 I'm going to hide the 0 and I'm going to do 8 times 3 and I know 8 times 3 is 24 so I'm going to write 24 down now the 0 that I hid here I'm going to bring it back so I know 8 times 30 
is 240. Now I do this calculation, 8 times 3 is 24. Now I simply add these two numbers in column addition. So let's write it here, 240 add 24. 0 add 4 is 4. 4 add 2 is 6. And then I have this 2 add, there's nothing here, so it's 2 add nothing, which is simply 2. And our answer is 264. It's the same as before. Question 9 is 72 divided by 9, or 72 shared by 9. And the way I like to write it is 72 shared by 9. And it's raining. And 72 is getting wet, so what we do is we build a bus shelter. And 72 will go inside because it needs to stay dry. And the 9 has to go outside. How many 9s are there in 7? We can't get any. So now this 7 gets carried over to the next column. So now it's how many 9s are there in 72? So if we did the 9 times table, 9, 18, 27, 36, 45, 54, 63, 72, we can stop there. So we can find out how many 9s we've got. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So how many 9s are in 72? There's 8. And because there's no remainder, we stop there. And our answer is 0, 8. But remember, this leading 0, we can ignore. We don't need to say that. So our answer is 8. So 72 divided by 9 is 8. Question 10. We're given 167 times 4. Or 167 multiplied by 4. So what we do is we line it up as column multiplication. So what I'm going to do is multiply the 4 by the 7, then the 4 by the 6, and then the 4 by the 1. So my first step is 4 times 7. That's 28. So we put the 8 down and carry the 2 over to the next column. Now what I do is I do 4 times 6. That's 24 plus this 2 that I've carried over. That makes it 26. So I put the 6 down and I carry the 2 over to the next column. And now my final step is 4 times 1. 4 times 1 is 4 plus the 2 is 6. So my answer is 668. Now what I'm going to do is do this using the grid method. I'm going to put the 4 down here. And I'm going to split this 167 up. I'm going to partition it. So I've got 100. I have 6 in the tens column, which is 60. And then I have the 7 in the ones or the units column. So now what I do is 4 times 100 which is 400. Now I do 4 times 60. So I can hide this 0 
and do 4 times 6, which is 24. And now I bring this zero back. So it's 240. And finally I do 4 times 7, which is 28. Now my final step is to add these three numbers in column addition. So let's write those carefully. 400, add 240, add 28. This is the calculation I need to do. So let's start. 0, add 0 is 0, add 8 is 8. 0, add 4 is 4, add 2 is 6. And finally, the third column, 4 plus 2 is 6, plus nothing is 6. So the answer is 668 as before.